There she is. She loves me so much. Yeah, she's all over me. She's the marmalade pussycat mama tigress. She's a good girl. I trimmed a couple of her claws because they were really way hooked way too long. I don't know. They seem to bite their own back claws and keep them short. All right. They like their back. They don't make let the back claws get to the fronts. They want long and and they don't mean to hurt me. But they, look what she did to me. Look, look, cause she see, see, she's she's saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's she, she's still saying she's sorry for scratching me, but she does it every day. <laughs> we gotta stop that. I was burned real bad when scalded, I mean, scalded real bad one time. Second, third degree, you can't keep doing this to me. All right, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, mama. The marmalade, pussycat, mama. She's a good girl. I know you do. I love you so much. Yes, I do. I do. She wants to climb on my shoulders. She jumps on my shoulders every day. I don't have a sh I gotta put a shirt on. If I put that red shirt on, she's gonna... She'll be all over me. Hanging out on my shoulder for as long as she can balance herself. When she gets tired, then she gets off. But she stay Every time I go to eat, she's on my shoulder. And if I try to feed her, uh, you know, I mean... Everything I ate, she didn't eat, but she wanted the smell. She wanted the smell. She didn't even taste it. She just smelled it. Everything. I had waffles with, with raspberries and real maple syrup. You know, Ego waffles. And a cup of coffee. And she, bloom on my shoulder. As soon as the food comes out, watching every piece go in my mouth from my right shoulder. But she did that getting up on me. Oh, man. She's a good girl. I love her. I saved her life and the lives of her babies. Thing is, I don't know where one of her babies is. Hopefully, we're going to find out soon. Or Ricky's going to find out soon for me. Because he's the one that was supposed to be responsible. And uh, I don't know. Nobody seems to care about my heart, you know, or my mind. So I was the one that had to hand feed her babies. You know, she only had three good working teats with six babies. They were always hungry. And, uh, and that, the one in particular was the runt that could never get a nipple unless I removed the other babies and let him, ha him and Mama have some one-on-one. -on -one. You know, that's the only way. Or, you know, but plus, you know, mom didn't have enough. For, she couldn't, the first four or five weeks, she couldn't produce enough milk. At the end, because she started getting healthier, and I could finally, after the third deworming, she turned around, you know. I mean, really turned around. She had eight teats and three good working ones and another three that never did anything, ever. But there were another two that, um, after a month, started to function. And uh, so the babies got a little more milk at the end. Because I kept feeding the mother the formula, too. And this is her right here. She's the matriarch. Yes, yeah, she is. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. She got some coat, too. She hardly ever sheds at all, this one, man. I, I saved their combings, you know, and her bag is the smallest. Hardly get any sheds off mama. Anyway. Yeah, and there's her, there's patches over there. Let me unplug. Oh, she heard me whisper her name. Her eyes opened. She was the fifth one born.
first Goro born. Jody was the second and last girl born. Sixth out of the litter. She was number five out of the litter. And if you noticed, most of her. Meow, yeah, yeah. You say something to me. I love you. Come on. She, she's smart, too. She, yes, you are. I know you're a smart little girl. Yes, you are. She knows how to play fetch. Yeah, her brother Simba taught me taught her how to play fetch. Now Simba don't know how to play fetch anymore. He just knows how to to be the, the sneak in and do the interception when I'm throwing it for her to go fetch. <laughs> Sometimes, you know. But he never fetch hardly ever fetches anymore. But she fetches all the time. She wants to play fetch. Yes, yeah, she's a smart little girl. She's very meowy too, almost as much as her brother. And uh, she's starting to learn how to say, I love you. Meow, I love you. Come on. Say, I love you. You say, I love you? Come on. She's smart, but Simba, he won't do it either when I ask him. Oh, oh no, I shouldn't say that. Once in a while he does it, but. Simba always does it at the door every morning. Every morning. He's meowing, I love you, and all kinds of other meow sounds, too. At the door, begging to go outside. You know, and then, you know, it's just it's too cold. 34 degrees and light rain. Uh-uh. Anyway. That's Patches. There's her mother. The other two are, oh, Simba's on top of the, yeah, he's on top of the printer. I had to unplug it. He's leaving. He's fast asleep. I, mean, I didn't even give him his medicine. Look, 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 meow, meow. She wants my attention. She came off with a stoop because I went to look at her brother. Yes. Little Miss Personality Patches, I love you. I love you, yes. You know, I love Ricky too, even though I'm very disappointed in him, but hopefully he's going to pull through because, you know, I think I finally made my point yesterday. I had to act like an asshole and practically threaten the guy's life. I don't really mean it. I love the guy. You know what I'm saying? But... <laughs> Uh, it's just that, damn it, I want to know who's got the cat. And if she didn't want the cat, the cat was supposed to come back, not go to some other family that I don't know. I, you know, especially that one. I should have never let that one go. But he was begging, said he was for his niece. His niece is full grown. I thought he meant like a little girl that lost her pussy cat. You know, not a... Uh, animal uh, hospital technician that lost her house cat because that's what I hear she is I'm gonna have I mean, if Ricky doesn't pull through I'm gonna have to go hunt this girl down I already forgot her name but he said Springdale Animal Hospital I'm gonna find out where that is I don't know Ricky had this one don't you remember Ricky do you remember Ricky What's the matter? You don't want me to talk about Ricky? Why'd you turn around like that, buddy boo? Patches. My patches, I love you. I gotta stop the video now. Look at this, 9 minutes and 15 seconds. Okay? Wow, that's your hair floating right by me. You're shedding a little bit. You want your bath or your tushy wash? Huh? I think I should wash a tushy. All right, I'm going to take care of patches now.